Plus, check your tickets. Two winners have been announced in the $610 million Powerball jackpot, including one right here in California. Early edition of the KTLA 5 Morning News starting right now. Well, good morning to you on this Thursday. I'm Chris Schaub. And I'm Megan Henderson. Appreciate you being with us. <laughs> we'll check your hi. Do you have a little cough, Henry? Yes, I do, Megan. Okay? I'm fine. Okay. I'm down the wrong pipe. Okay, I'll check in with Ginger with your commute shortly. First, uh... I'll be okay. I'll be sure. okay, Megan. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Tomorrow's Friday. <laughs> I don't feel good, Megan. Oh, it's starting. <laughs> I, I'm not even going to joke about right? that. Right, no. you can't joke. I know, I can't even joke about no. that. No, I, th I feel fine, I feel great. Okay. I'll be here tomorrow. Uh, we have a beautiful day planned for you today, and we're looking at temperatures uh, that'll be warmer today. In fact, we had a beautiful, beautiful forecast for you yesterday. We did get some nice sunshine out of the day. We did have some nice, comfortable conditions. And here we go, 72 downtown. So we're going to jump well above the average in some spots, including the San Fernando Valley. Maybe we hit 80 degrees today out there in some of our inland valleys. Inland Orange County, 73, 75 for the IE and 62 in the high desert. Still a little windy out there, but the winds starting to lighten up. That's some good news there. All more in a few minutes. Ginger, over to you. All right, yes. And you know, it's really interesting because it's not widespread. A couple days ago, we did notice there were some areas of thick fog, but then all of a sudden it dissipated. This morning, it is back along the coast and it is so deep and thick. And so we actually have this camera that we're able to access to show you what you can expect in some of the areas. See what I'm talking about uh-huh this is the 405 freeway both directions you can see it right at brookhurst so the camera is like a it's just giving us a snapshot of what the conditions are like but here it's super foggy we're talking about areas like the uh, 710 freeway the 405 long beach seal beach anything along the coast it is super thick not too far from lax and those areas those dense fog advisories are for you guys and then once you continue farther to the north and then of course a little bit more inland that fog is already gone. It's crazy how it is. All right, so moving over to look at some other things that we have going on for the drive on the 60. So the eastbound side to the 57 North, it's a crash with at least two cars. The sick alert issued here, it's sitting in that transition road. And so this one happened just after midnight, turned into our fatality crash. So we're starting off with some tough news and you see what it's like at 60 freeway, not always terribly busy. Nevertheless, that 60 eastbound side to that 57 north will stay off limits for now anyway until further notice. And then hopefully they'll get some additional units to the scene to help clear it. We'll watch all these things, those areas of thick fog as well, and I'll send it back to you. Ginger, thank you. Californians will have to keep their masks on indoors for another month as Omicron cases continue to surge. KTLA 5's Carlos Herrera live now from Manhattan Beach to explain more. Carlos, good morning. Yeah, Chris, Megan, good morning. The indoor mask mandate here in California is here to stay until at least February 15th. State leaders making the announcement just 10 days before that rule was actually set to expire. They say they will be reevaluating the rule once the February 15th date gets closer. However, this morning they still have not made an announcement into what metrics they will be using to decide when to drop it. The announcement comes as state health officials say they're concerned about the number of hospital admissions, which increased by more than 8% in just one day. More than 8,000 people are hospitalized with the virus right now. Officials say although COVID hospitalizations are a fraction of what they were last year, overall hospitalizations for all reasons are quite high. Many hospitals across Southern California report being strained because few employees are available due to coronavirus infections and because demand for non-COVID care is much higher this winter. You know, Omicron is here uh, and 